little red cap. Jacob and Willem Grimm. Once upon a time, there was a sweet little girl. Everyone who saw her liked her, but most of all her grandmother, who did not know what to give the child next. Once she gave her little cap made of red velvet, because it suited her so well, and she wanted to wear it all the time. She came to be known as Little Red Cap. One day her mother said to her, Come, Little Red Cap, here is a piece of cake and a bottle of wine. Take them to your grandmother. She is sick and weak, and they will do her well. Mind your manners and give her my greetings. Behave yourself on the way and do not leave the path. Or you might fall down and break the glass, and then there will be nothing for your grandmother. And when you enter her parlour, don't forget to say good morning and don't peer into all the corners first. I'll do everything just right, said Little Red Cap, shaking her mother's hand. The grandmother lived out in the woods a half hour from the village. When Little Red Cap entered the woods, a wolf came up to her. She did not know what a wicked animal he was and was not afraid of him. Good day to you, Little Red Cap. Thank you, Wolf. Where are you going so early, Little Red Cap? To grandmother's. And what are you carrying under your apron? Grandmother is sick and weak, and I am taking her some cake and wine. We baked yesterday, and they should be good for her and give her strength. Little Red Cap, just where does your grandmother live? Her house is good quarter hour from here in the woods, under the three large oak trees. There's a hedge of hazel bushes there. You must know the place, said Little Red Cap. The wolf thought to himself, now that sweet young thing is a tasty bite for me. She will taste even better than the old woman. You must be sly and you can catch them both. He walked along a little while with Little Red Cap. Then he said, Little Red Cap, just look at the beautiful flowers that are all around us. Why don't you go and take a look? And I don't believe you can hear how beautifully the birds are singing. You are walking along as though you were on your way to school. It is very beautiful in the woods. Little Red Cap opened her eyes, and when she saw the sunbeams dancing to and fro through the trees and how the ground was covered with beautiful flowers, she thought, if I take a fresh bouquet to Grandmother, she will be very pleased. Anyway, it is still early, and I'll be home on time. And she ran off the path into the woods looking for flowers. Each time she picked one, she thought that she could see an even more beautiful one a little way off, and she ran after it, going further and further into the woods. But the wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house and knocked on the door. Who's there? Little Red Cap, I'm bringing some cake and wine. Open the door. Just press the latch, called out the grandmother. I'm too weak to get up. The wolf pressed the latch and the door opened. He stepped inside, went straight to the grandmother's bed and ate her up. Then he put on her clothes, put a cap on his head, got into her bed and pulled the curtain shut. Little Red Cap had run after the flowers. After she had gathered so many that she could not carry any more, she remembered her grandmother and then continued on her way to her house. She found to her surprise that the door was open. She walked into the parlour and everything looked so strange that she thought, oh my God, why am I so afraid? I usually like it at grandmother's. She called out, good morning, but received no answer. Then she went to the bed and pulled back the curtains. Grandmother was lying there with a cap pulled down over her face and looking very strange. Oh, Grandmother, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with. Oh, Grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with. Oh, Grandmother, what big hands you have. All the better to grab you with. Oh, Grandmother, what a horribly big mouth you have. All the better to eat you with. The wolf had scarcely finished speaking when he jumped from the bed with a single leap and ate up poor little Red Cap. As soon as the wolf had satisfied his desires, he climbed back into bed, fell asleep and began to snore very loudly. A huntsman was just passing by. He thought the old woman is snoring so loudly. You had better see if something is wrong with her. He stepped into the parlour and when he approached the bed, he saw the wolf lying there. So here I find you, you old sinner, he said. I've been hunting for you a long time. He was about to aim his rifle when it occurred to him that the wolf might have eaten the grandmother and that she still might be rescued. So instead of shooting, he took a pair of scissors and began to cut open the wolf's belly. After a few cuts, he saw the red cap shining through. And after a few more cuts, the girl jumped out crying. Oh, I was so frightened. 
It was so dark inside the wolf's body. And then the grandmother came out as well, alive but hardly able to breathe. Then little Red Cap fetched some large stones. She filled the wolf's body with them and when he woke up and tried to run away, the stones were so heavy that he immediately fell down dead. The three of them were happy. The huntsman skinned the wolf and went home with the pelt. The grandmother ate the cake and drank the wine that Little Red Cap had brought. And Little Red Cap thought, as long as I live, I will never leave the path and run off into the woods by myself if Mother tells me not to.